and welcome to my floor where I am sitting and where there is a ton of stuff sitting right in front of me that I want to tell you about because today's video is a favorites video, something I haven't done in ages and I feel like I got a lot of things I want to show you guys. I got a lot to tell you about. But first, I think you know what time it is. Patron, patron time! We got today. Oh, one fell out. Who is it? It is Delaney B. Thank you so much, Delaney, for being our featured patron. You are amazing. I love you. And you, Delaney, are my favorite of the favorites in this video. Thanks, Delaney. Let's put you right up here. <laughs> All right, little dudes. So this week, <laughs> this week we're taking it kind of easy, y'all. I just want to kind of sit down and hang out with you. Just talk about some stuff I like. Just kind of hang out, you know, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> Me and Delaney just chilling. It must be like at least a year or so since I've made a favorites video just talking about stuff that's like entered my life one way or another and there are things that I like and I think that you also would like so I want to like tell you about it in case you like it too. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Hey guys, editing Alexa here with everyone's favorite little pipey. So I found this video, the one that you're watching now, with the black hair. Like a week ago, a lot has happened in a week. And I feel like there's just no way I could make this video without mentioning some of the stuff. We're gonna do a few little editor Alexa pop-ups. First of all, I decided to make a kind of easy video for this week because as a lot of you guys know, if you follow any of my other social media, Pipes, she does have cancer and uh, it's just kind of been like, we're just adjusting right now. So my content might not be like, <laughs> as exciting as usual. It's been tough. You guys over the past week have blown my actual mind. Like there is no longer a mind brain in here. It is gone. <laughs> it's gone. You guys did something that I, something that just absolutely floored me. It just like made me sob. So when I found out Pipes needed chemo, I did like a flash sale on my Poshmark. Like I went through my closet and grabbed out a bunch of stuff, put it all on Poshmark and like almost just as fast as I was listing things, you guys were buying them all out and like you guys sold out everything in my closet <laughs> and everything that I've listed. And just from buying my stuff on Poshmark, you guys have funded Pipes' first round of chemo. This is, this is the face that I make at the vet when I'm like, it's, as soon as I walk in, it's so obvious that I'm trying not to cry, but I am. Anyway, so, um, you guys funded Pipes' first round of chemo just buying my stuff, um, on Poshmark, so, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's just been really awesome knowing that you guys want to help and that you guys love pipes like I love pipes. And also even that my clothes are just going to bloody pals who will love them like I did. <laughs> but more importantly that we're raising money to help fund Pipes' cancer treatment so like, uh, you guys. <laughs> She's gonna need like four to six rounds of chemo depending on how it goes. I do have another set of stuff um, pulled to do another flash sale on Poshmark too. And I know that Poshmark only ships in the US. I've had a lot of people asking me about this, like who have been wanting to help out with pipes but can't either buy from my Poshmark because they're not in the US or my clothes don't fit them or they don't like my clothes or whatever. Please don't feel obligated, but if you want to, I am setting up a GoFundMe for pipes. If you want to help or if you want to share, I will put that link in the description box for you guys and just like, oh my God, thank you so much for everything we will figure it out like one way or another like that little baby is my like <laughs> so like we will figure it out i just appreciate you guys so much and you are my favorite thing in the world and now this editor's note is going to be half the length of this video <laughs> I swear there's like a product and things that I like, but I've just been so blown away by you guys and like your support and just like watching my Poshmark just real time, like boom, 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 boom. The pipe is fun. <laughs> Ugh. Thank, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So before we 
jump into like this odd mix of things that I have set aside <laughs> for this video. Let me tell you a rundown about this outfit because I know you guys are going to ask because this is my current fave outfit. But none of it is like particularly new. It's all stuff that I've had. I just never like mixed it together until like maybe a month or two ago and now it's like my favorite outfit and I wear it all the time. <laughs> it's actually a bunch of knockoffs besides this top. The shirt is black milk and the hair is rockstar wigs. This is the straight 24 inch lace front something like that <laughs> not exactly sure obviously and this is the Aubrey Beardsley super drape top I actually did a makeup tutorial like two years ago inspired by this shirt and I will link it up here if you haven't seen it it's like super super old I love this shirt this hat is a knockoff girls generation hat the pants are knockoff something pants I think I got both of these from Romwe like 80 million years ago and, <laughs> and these boots are from UV me so this is like my outfit right now it's so comfortable and it's so like eye-catching and unique and I love it and yeah that's my first favorite <laughs> so kind of jumping into all of the rest of these favorites they are all over the place you guys so some of the faves I have today are makeup related some of them are just like lifestyle life stuff related some of it is just internet-y stuff that I like I don't know I don't know. It's it's a weird mix. What should I start with? I don't know. Okay, why don't I start with my favorite of all of my favorites. This picture, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> B got me this picture for my birthday. He had it made for me on Etsy. Y'all, if I didn't cry like the babiest baby in the world, look at this picture. When I opened this, I literally sobbed. This picture, it just made me burst into tears when I opened it because ah, it looks just like us, doesn't it? What a little baby cutie. Okay, so it doesn't look like me today, but it looks like, <laughs> it looks like me on a regular day. And like, this is how we spend our Saturday mornings usually. He sits at the piano and Pipe sits up there and listens to him and I listen to them and it's like the best thing ever. You probably see it on my Instagram story all the time. Like, I just love it. It's like my favorite part of the week. on Etsy and like literally the best thing I've ever seen in the world. I love it so much. <laughs> so the next thing, well hello, welcome to the video. And the next thing is not a product or anything to show you but it is just something that I've started doing that has like brought so much joy into my life. And that is a segment that I started doing on my Patreon. It is a segment that I'm calling Good Morning Games and it is a gaming live stream. And it's like new, okay, but it has been so much fun for me. Like it has given me something to like wake up for <laughs> because I am literally the worst in the morning. I'm the worst morning person on this planet, for real. <laughs> like the other day I told B that I would throw pipes at him if he didn't leave me alone. <laughs> Horrible. I would never do that. I'm sorry. I said that. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Close your ears. <laughs> but since starting this gaming live stream in the morning while having my coffee, I get to hang out with you guys. I get to play video games. So it has made me so much more excited to like start my day and it's helping me get out of bed <laughs> without threatening B or the cat. We've been playing one of the old Borderlands games, trying to pre-game for the newest one, which I'm so excited for. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, well, I can't really reach any of those products over there with this cat on my lap. Okay, so let's talk a little bit of makeup. Uh, I know that's what you guys want. <laughs> I have a mix of drugstore and not drugstore in my recent faves of recent things I've been using. Pipes, hold on. We've got to get them. Can you, like, move? Just going to wait this one out. Babe. All right, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> sorry, Pipes. Sorry. The, my favorite thing that I discovered... Are you for real? <laughs> she just bite my leg. Rude. Anyway... <laughs> 
so drugstore I have some really cheap new drugstore stuff that I've been into lately I have an eyeliner here that's like four dollars it has finally ousted my all-time favorite liner which is NYX's matte black liquid liner this one I really love too and it's so cheap and you can get it at like CVS Walmart it's super drugstore it is from essence it is called super last eyeliner Jenna actually told me about this one and I have no idea how she found it or anything but we have a constant group chat of like recommendations of like makeup and stuff we like basically this video is our forever group chat <laughs> but Jenna recommended this essence super last waterproof eyeliner to me and I love it it's so cheap it does take a little bit to get used to because the applicator is like really weird let me show you the applicator is like this kind of like spongy little tip and it definitely takes getting used to when I first tried it on I was like I don't know about this Jenna what are you talking about but once I kind of got the hang of this little weird applicator I was like okay I can get on board with this I like it it is very black it is very matte it stays on all day and it's like four dollars or something like it's crazy cheap let me just show you how black it is real quick Super smooth, super, super black. And yeah, I don't know. I've never used this brand before, Essence. But if you're looking for a cheap drugstore eyeliner, I like this one. Another drugstore makeup recommendation. So <laughs> the way this product entered my life, <laughs> this is so embarrassing, but we're talking about things I love and something that I love right now is Love Island. I've got a soft spot in my heart for it. I love it. Love Island season four, there is a girl named Megan who has the most banging lipstick and like every time she's on the screen, besides being like mesmerized by how beautiful she is, I'm also like, what lipstick is that? It's so pretty and I need to buy it right now. What is it? Turns out it's this $5 lipstick from Rimmel, the Stay Matte Liquid Lip. Once I found out it was the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color, I bought it in five colors. <laughs> it's so cheap, I couldn't help it. I was like, these are like five dollars? All right, I'm just gonna buy this whole handful. When you know half of the beauty community IRL, but you take your lipstick recommendations from a British reality TV show. And okay, so I will say these are kind of hit and miss. Like some of them are really, really good. Like the one that Megan wears, which is Firestarter. It is like a really pretty red. But then some of these lighter ones are a little bit uh, streakier. Like you have to kind of build them up a little bit. Let me come swatch them for you so you can see for yourself. So here is Firestarter, Heartbeat, Be My Baby, Pink Bliss, and finally this one is Blush. Let me turn my lights down just a little bit so you can see. There you go. I'm actually wearing um, this middle one. I forget what it's called. The like, <laughs> the like brown one. I think they are like bang for your buck kind of liquid lipsticks. And maybe I might be taking makeup advice from reality TV, but like I need to do it anyway. Moving on. <laughs> okay, but moving away from drugstore, my favorite eyeshadow palette right now is the Morphe. Oh, what is this called? I don't remember what it's called. It's their Pride palette, and I can't even tell you the last time I was super excited for an eyeshadow palette launch, but this one, <laughs> I bought this one on launch day. I was like, alarm set, buying this palette. Three things that like, just take my money. Take my money, Morphe. <laughs> one, Pride. Two, all the proceeds from this palette or this collection, I think there were brushes as well, went to the Trevor Project, which is amazing. And three, the colors in this palette. Is this me or what? Oh my god. The one thing I find that is always left off of rainbow palettes is white and black. I want those. So before I got this palette, my everyday makeup was a combination of three different palettes, which is like too much for an everyday makeup. <laughs> I was using the pinks from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, the orange from the Hot Topic Nickelodeon palette, which Oddly enough, I've never been able to find an orange I like more than that orange. I love that orange. And then the white from the Saucebox palette. This palette combines all of the colors that I normally use in my everyday makeup. So I can use Heart, I can use Pride, Culture, Sunlight, and Milk for my everyday warm pinky orange look that I wear all the time. You guys see it all the time. <laughs> um, and now when I travel, I only have to take one palette, which is so nice. The uh, formula of the eyeshadows, I wouldn't say this is like the best 
palette that I've ever used in my life. There's a lot of fallout, but they're like, they're good enough. You know what I mean? It's not gonna blow your mind, but the fact that the proceeds go to Trevor Project, you're supporting Pride, I have consolidated all of my everyday colors into this one palette. That landed a spot in my faves. Hey, me again, editing Alexa. Okay, so over the past week, like I said, lots been going on, lots changing. I also got another new makeup favorite, a new eyeshadow palette that definitely makes this list. It is also rainbowy. <laughs> I got this PR package from Sugar Pill, and they know that I love rainbows, so they, they sent me a pro palette that has all of these colors in here. Oh my god. <laughs> And I actually prefer the formula of the Sugar Pill shadows over the Morphe shadows. So the only thing that keeps the Morphe one in the running right now is Supporting Pride, <laughs> Trevor Project, and the overall color selection. But the thing about the Sugar Pill Pro palette, all of these colors are magnetized pans. So these colors you can swap out, you can change them out. So what I'll probably end up doing is getting a pink to put in here and a black to put in here and then just make this my everyday palette because it will have all of my colors and my white and black in this palette and I prefer this formula. So I want to include the Sugar Pill Pro Palette where you can pick and choose the colors that go in here into my favorites. And huge thanks to Sugar Pill for sending this awesome PR package. Like, oh my god, it's so good. I love it. <laughs> my favorite, favorite lashes right now, you guys. Rouge and Rogue. So I first heard about this brand forever ago from Christy, Raw Beauty Christy. She loves these. And then so when they reached out to me and wanted to send me PR, I was like, yes, Christy loves these. I can't wait to try them. I totally trust Christy's opinion on everything makeup related. They're amazing. It's the only lashes I've been wearing since I got this package. I'm wearing them today smeared black all over my face, so you probably can't see them. The design of these lashes, I love. I love all of the ones that I've tried so far. They're very, like, dramatic, which is, like, obviously totally my thing. And the quality is super nice. I've been able to wear them, like, over and over and over again. And I'm very, very happy with them. I just think they're so pretty. And then also still kind of in the vein of, like, makeup world, but also kind of bridging a little bit into, like, life stuff. I finally got a makeup brush cleaner kit on Amazon. It's just like a cheap one from Amazon and game changer, y'all. Before now, I was so bad, so bad about letting all of my makeup brushes just like stack up in like a to be washed pile. And I'd be like, I don't feel like cleaning those right now because I don't want to sit in the bathroom at the sink for like hours while I scrub them. But now I can sit at the TV, I can sit at my computer and wash them in this little jar thing. So basically, let me give you a little demo. So it comes with a bunch of different little sizes that you can stick your brushes into, whichever one fits the best. Can I get a brush for like an example? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> okay, so you stick the brush into whichever base like fits it the best, like that. This little guy in. And then you just like stick it into this little spinner guy. Put some like brush cleaner water in here. And then when you turn this on, it starts spinning like that. So you like spin it in the makeup brush cleaner and get your brush all clean. It also dries it really, really fast, which is one of the main benefits because you can wash it and then immediately dry it with like it spinning like this. And then you can use it like right away. So for me, as someone who changes my eyeshadow colors like a hundred times a week, I need to clean my brushes all the time. There's so many different uh, versions of this same kind of thing. I got this one on Amazon. I think it was like $25, $20, something like that. And the the first one that I got worked great for like a month and then it just completely stopped working. I left a review that it broke and the company's customer service was like amazing. They immediately refunded my purchase even though I already had it past the refund limit on like Amazon's refund terms. And then they replaced it. They sent me a new one for free even though they also refunded me. Some seriously good customer service. It's really helped me keep on top of keeping my makeup brushes clean which is never a bad thing. Okay, another weird little life thing that I've just been keeping at my desk. Okay, this is kind of stupid, but it's <laughs> it's kind of been a game changer for me as well. Yeah. So I wear glasses when I work at my computer and somehow glasses are always like inexplicably dirty, like disgustingly dirty. How, why, I don't know. When, how could they possibly be covered in so much makeup? Your guess is as good as mine. It's not like I rub them on my face. I don't understand, but somehow, always super, super dirty. And I never realized quite how dirty they are until I clean them and I'm like, ah, everything is so clear and amazing. <laughs> so the reason this one is kind of stupid is because it seems so obvious, but I just never, never cross 
cross my mind, I put some glass cleaner in a little squirty bottle, like a little generic mini squirty bottle like this, and I just keep it in my desk at my computer. So now when I sit down at my computer, I can take my glasses and just squirt them off and clean them and then work at my computer with clean glasses. Why have I never thought of this? I don't know. Is it a revolutionary idea? Not really. Is it new to me and is it a game changer? Yes, it is. That's why it's in my favorites. I don't know. I know it's weird. All right, next. <laughs> Noticing. Sorry, my Tamagotchi. What? What's wrong? She pooped. Sorry. Motherhood, you know? Motherhood. Anyway. Okay, lastly, I think this is the last thing. I, I just threw a bunch of stuff on the floor that I like, so hopefully, <laughs> I'm sure I'll think of something later, but. This I just got, like I just got it a few days ago, and I'm still learning how to use it. It definitely has a learning curve a little bit, but so far I'm really, really, really liking it. I'm really excited about it. I can't stop talking about it. Brendan is like, okay, enough. This is Madame Glam's Poly Gel, which is basically, it's like a hybrid of hard gel polish and acrylics. I know that I, even just recently, talk about how I always just wear like fake glue-on nails, like that's usually my go-to. But recently, I think the company that makes the glue that I've always used changed their formula or something. Like the glue that I've used forever is no longer sticky to my fingers. I don't know what's happened, but it's caused chaos in my nail life. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Anyway, I've been on the search for a new solution. That's when I decided to try Madame Glam's Poly Gel. Y'all, this is a whole new world for me. I am brand new to this. Like, I just watched a tutorial on how to do it, because this is a product where you kind of build up your own nails. I will link the video, though, that I watched the tutorial. I thought it was super helpful, and it, like, definitely gave me the confidence that I could do this at home myself. I've never done a set of nails before before, so like be kind <laughs> but I think they're cute for my first time like they're definitely not perfect so I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna come in too close they feel so much more secure on my hands be as much as he's annoyed listening to me talk about how much I like them he is zipping it because I've been like scratching his back scratching his head because like I have nails that are not gonna pop off so I do need to practice with these a bit more like even though I'm not great at it yet it is something that is pretty fun to do for me like it's kind of like sculpting little play-doh nails and then, and then when you carry it they get all super hard so um yeah it's something that I'm still experimenting with a bit but so far really excited about it and once I get good at it I'll start posting like pop-in pictures of my claws you can like make any any shape you want any leaf you want I'm very excited hey me again last time though I swear I swear <laughs> I also want to let you guys know real fast that you can use tips with this product as well which is what I've done for this like Easter eggy looking pastel rainbow manicure <laughs> and it makes the learning curve like so much easier to kind of get the hang of it without having to sculpt from scratch. I feel like tips are like good training wheels for learning poly gel. And that's where I am in my progress so far. This is my second poly gel manicure and I think it looks really cute and it's very like <laughs> All right, back in time to a week ago. I swear I'll leave you alone. Okay, bye. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Yes, I think that's it. So those are my favorite things right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this was super chill, quite different than most of my videos, especially because it doesn't include any clothes at all, except the clothes I'm wearing. <laughs> Let me know if you like these kind of videos. I know it's a lot more chill than um, all the lookbooks and like try on videos that we do. Really just me sitting here talking. Fascinating video. I know, hey, they can't all be winners. So hopefully you liked it enough. <laughs> Chilling with the lady, with all of you guys, with pipes. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.